Today, actually, we're gonna learn Unit 14, Lesson 5 and 6, okay? First of all, you have to read first, okay? Now, while you are reading, you can listen to the story first, okay? Now, please listen and read! Listening 101 Listen and read My relatives are coming We're getting ready for a really special day My relatives are arriving and this is where they'll stay My aunt and my uncle and my cousins Bill and Kate will be here for a week and I just can't wait My cousin Bill's a toddler who has just turned two he likes to scream and shout, just like normal toddlers do. But he's really fun and cute, and he's learning to be good. And I'm going to help him do all the things he should. Kate will sleep in my room, on some cushions on the floor. Aunt and Uncle in the lounge, on a camp bed by the door. But our house is quite small, so it will be quite a squeeze. There'll be eight around the table, sixteen elbows, arms and knees. There'll be cues for the bathroom and cues in the hall. There'll be coats, shoes and bags piled up against the walls. The house will be so noisy as we all like to speak. There'll be laughter and singing for the whole of next week. And when they all go home, I know they'll stay in touch, but the house will be so quiet, and I'll miss them all so much. Okay, have you read? Next, please answer exercise 3 and 4. Okay, next, uh, it's time for the listening exercise on lesson 6. So please look at the picture, then listen. Listening 102. Listen and number. Listen to these children talking about some of their memories with their families. Number one. I'm Stuart. We had a really fantastic holiday this year. For the first time in my life, I went in an aeroplane and it was really exciting. We went to Australia and saw lots of animals, like kangaroos and koala bears. The weather was very hot, and I went surfing in the sea. It was so good that I hope we can go back one day. Number two. My name is Emily. The best memory for me was when my baby brother was born. He was really little, and had black hair and big brown eyes. He was happy nearly all the time, and I helped my mum look after him. Now he is three, and I can read him stories and play with him. Number three. My name's Anna. I can remember my last birthday. I was nine, and I had a great time. Usually on my birthday, friends come to my house. But last year, we went to a zoo because my parents know I love animals. It was great. I didn't just look at the animals, I helped to look after them. First, I fed the monkeys and the giraffes. Then, I helped to wash a big elephant. It was really fun and I'll never forget it. Okay, have you done the exercises? Next, we will learn about Poem, okay? What is poem? Poem is the same with poetry, okay? As you can see here, this is the example of a poem about popcorn, okay? Now, there are two things that we need to know in a poem. The first one is first, and the second one is rhyme. What is first? First is the parts in a poem. Like in this poem about popcorn, there are two verses. This is the first, first, 
This is the second verse. Okay? So this is first one and this is first two. Like that. So how many first in this poem? There are two verses, right? Next, rhyme. What is rhyme? Rhyme is the similar sound at the end of the lines, like this. Pop, pop, popcorn. Popping in the pot. Pop, pop, popcorn. Eat it while it's hot. Now, as you can see, popcorn and this popcorn, they have similar uh, sound, actually, right? Popcorn, popcorn. So we call them as rhyme. Then, in the pot, it's hot. Pop, hot. They also have similar sound. Pop, hot, right? We call them as rhyme B. So if I ask you, what is the rhyme of this verse? The rhyme of this verse is A, B, A, B. Or you can say, a, B, A, B. And it also happens at the second verse. The rhyme of the second verse is also A, B, A, B. Okay? So that's all the explanation about the poem. Next, for your exercises, please do your class book, page 115 and 100 and uh, sorry 114 and 115 and your workbook page 105 until 107 okay so good luck don't forget to submit